Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You're knowing what you're wanting? Yes. So what brings you here? More, more, more clarity, more understanding. You know, this is a very weird gathering. <laughs> because here we don't talk about things in a normal way. Normal meaning the way most people misunderstand them to be. Here we talk about things as they really are, as they are at your basis as they are at your core, as they are at your soul, as they are at your source level. And of course, it's important because all of those things that are at the basis of that which you are is all right out here with you too, isn't it? What we're getting at is this is not a gathering here to talk about behavior or actions or right or wrong or the things that most people are all sort of wadded up in this is a conversation about your vibrational basis which is emanating from you at all times and is receiving a response from the universe not the universe out there in never never land the universe that is responding to you right here and now all day long around you wherever you stand wherever you are whatever you are thinking about whatever you've got your mind on whatever you are noticing whatever you are remembering whatever you are imagining whatever you're talking about whatever it is that you are about here in your incredibly observational state of being matters so much because in whatever it is you're thinking about you are emanating a vibration and law of attraction is responding to the vibration that you're emanating and is causing a momentum to increase on the very thing that you are thinking about wanted or not just because the vibrational nature of the universe is that way when a thinking mechanism that you focuses a thought within you then that vibration is so important and you know most people don't even know it the reason that it's so important is because it is the center of what comes to you but it's not the only center of you <sighs> And that's kind of hard for you to hear sometimes because here I am, me, you think, and all right, I'll hear these strange words, Abraham, and I'll accept that this is a vibrational universe and that maybe I might be vibrational too. But what are you talking about? What are you talking about in terms of who I am and why vibration matters to me? And so we want to start, and it'll be brief, at the beginning of what you think you are before you came into this physical body and we want to remind you that that consciousness that existed before your personality consciousness here in this body existed still exists and is still aware of you and where you are and what you're thinking and what you're doing all day every day so you've got two vibrational aspects to your being going on all the time there's you and what you're thinking and there's your inner being your soul your source and what your inner being is thinking about what you're thinking because anything that you're focused upon the whole of you is focused there with you in other words you are never out here alone and that's so important for you to understand because it explains your entire emotional basis everything about your emotions is about what we just said to you the reason that you feel happy or sad is because you have a relationship 
with your inner being who was you before you were you, but is still you even though you are now you. You sort of get what we're talking about? And so most humans have, through a variety of things that they've listened to, they've come to separate themselves from that part of themselves. And so they don't understand what emotion is, but you do, or you will, as we move through this day. And we just wanna say that if you get that down, if you can hear that you come from source and source is still very interested in you. And that while you are here in this body, you're sifting and sorting and observing and coming to your own personal preferences of what feels good to you, what you prefer, what you like most. And as those things come to your attention, your attention causes you to emit a vibrational signal that your inner being receives. When you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. And that signal that emanates from you is not just received by your inner being, but begins an attraction to your inner being on behalf of you. Does that make sense to you? When you prefer something, your inner being and all that your inner being has become through all that you have lived, your inner being holds that thought steadily and never contradicts it. When you say, I don't have enough money, I would like more money, your inner being holds a vibrational stance of prosperity for you from then on. You don't. You say, I want more money, but I don't have enough. Your inner being knows you want more money and never goes to the you don't have enough. And so when you go to the I don't have enough, you cause a vibrational rift between you and your inner being and that's what negative emotion is. When you think someone was rude to me and I would like to live in a nicer world, your inner being says, you live in a nicer world, but you don't. You say, I want to live in a nicer world. I don't yet live in a nicer world. This world sucks, you say. I don't live in a nicer world. Your inner being doesn't go there with you. Your inner being knows the nicer world that you are talking about. When you are rude to someone and you mean to be nicer, your inner being knows that you are nicer, but you don't. You still feel rude. And so you see how you separate yourself from who you really are. And the longer you live, the more likely you are to cause more separation until over time, you're not as frisky as you could be. You're not as in love with yourself or with others as you could be. You are not yourself at all, in fact. As you cause more and more separation, you feel clumsy instead of steady. You feel insecure rather than secure. You feel not prosperous instead of prosperous. You feel different than the inner being part of you feels, and this is the thing we really want you to hear. You feel different than the inner being part of you feels, and you know the inner being part of you feels the way the inner being part of you feels because of you. Isn't that interesting? You said, because you can't help yourself, I prefer this, I desire more. It's the nature of your leading edge beingness. It's what you knew you would do. It's what you knew you were coming here to be about because you knew that you were a creator and you knew that you were coming into an environment where there would be contrasts that would help you to choose. And you knew without the ability to choose, there could not be more. And you knew that you would launch these rockets and you knew that those rockets would matter. You knew that when you emanated a signal, you knew that this is the energy that creates worlds. You know that this is how creation happens. You know that it's focused through consciousness. And so you chose and handed it off to infinite intelligence consciousness who loves you, who knows you, who roots for you, who works for you, who holds you steadily in vibrational awareness and offers a signal about the new and improved you all day, every day. And the new and improved you is happening all day, every day. The question is, are you keeping up? And the answer is no. You're not keeping up because you have negative emotion. Negative emotion means you're not keeping up. When you're mad at somebody, you're not keeping up because you don't want to be mad at them. Really, you don't. Your inner being isn't mad at them. And when you are, you're separated from who you are, you see. And so we've enjoyed this interaction immensely. <laughs> <laughs>